Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is back to basic video four, I think, right? I might be wrong, I think I'm right. And it's all about necessary makeup products in your makeup bag. So I'm just really gonna cover the bare minimum. And I'm gonna show you what my favorite products are. You definitely don't have to go out and buy the same exact ones. These are just my diehard favorite. And this isn't a video on everything I use on my face, it's everything that the average woman needs in their makeup kit. So we're just gonna jump straight into the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna start kind of in the order in which I do my makeup typically. I'm gonna start with foundation, and my favorite foundation at the moment is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. And I just love this foundation. I'm wearing it now. It gives like medium to full coverage, and it's Bond.com. It leaves my skin glowy and all of the above. Another great foundation for you oily skinners is the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. This is one of my favorites too, and I have dry skin. I definitely recommend this only because it gives you medium to full coverage and it's bomb. It lasts all day, I'm not kidding, maybe eight hours. I live by liquid foundation because it gives you the most natural finish look. If you have oily skin, maybe go powder, but I don't do powder. I can always see people's powder foundation sitting on the skin and it literally makes me cringe. So a good liquid foundation is completely necessary in your makeup bag. Next we're jumping to concealer and my favorite concealer of all times, hand down, is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. And you guys, this is just creamy, not drying, hydrating, and it does not crease. It's bomb.com. Those that are new to makeup, I definitely recommend one that is close that is your skin color because it's gonna conceal anything you need. You can spot conceal, you can conceal under your eyes, you'll be good to go. Personally, I use one that's about two to three shades lighter than my skin tone to highlight my face, but that's because I'm really into makeup. So definitely a liquid concealer for concealing under your eyes and everywhere else because if you use a thick concealer underneath your eyes, like the Studio Finish Concealer that I use, it will crease like a mug. And you don't wanna look all creasy, girl, you don't. Okay, after you put all of that liquid on, I 100% definitely recommend you to set it. And a great setting powder is the Mineralized, Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC, and I'm in the shade Dark. dark. And what a powder does, it, it just sets that foundation into your face. It sets it so that it's not sticky, because no matter what, you're gonna kind of feel the foundation on your face. I know that's a lot of people's fears, but if you set it with a great powder, this isn't a foundation. You're not gonna go with anything too thick it literally is a thin powder like so can you even see that it's very light you can even use this when you're quick and on the go for very light coverage and it really just sets everything in place it'll set that concealer to stop it from creasing so I 100% recommend a face powder not a foundation a face powder I'm gonna go ahead and go into bronzer I think bronzer is completely necessary because once you've foundationed and concealed your face all the dimension in your face has been wiped out. Women of color naturally have dimensions and, and shadows in their face, so once you put that foundation on, it wipes out that dimension. So I recommend to go with the bronzer by for sure to help bring that color back into your face. Now if you are darker skin, I recommend using a light concealer, then you won't have to go in with bronzer because sometimes it is hard to find a darker conceal a darker foundation for those dark skin gals out there it's hard to find one to contour with so, so go in with a light concealer and then that will add the dimension back into your face so, next necessary thing is a blush and that is also going to bring color back into your face i definitely recommend a good blush and my favorite is love joy from mac and it's a mineralized blush the reason i like this one is because it gives my skin a nice glow and it glides on smoothly so i'll go ahead and show you the color this will also work on darker skin gals as well. So it's this one right here. Can you see that? There we go. It's beautiful. Like, I love a good glow, and you can't go wrong with anything mineralized. After that, I definitely 100%, like, I don't care what you say, you need a highlighter. Highlighting is life. I don't know what I did before highlighting. My favorite highlighter. With that is natural, that's not gonna give you too much of a bam highlight like this, 
is Global Glow Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. What a highlight does is it just adds a nice glow to any part of your face that you want to kind of amp up. It gives you life. It makes, it pulls everything together. Like, my highlight now, like, can, like why would you not want to go around glowing like a disco ball? I just don't know why anyone would not want to. Now with a highlighter, you want to just take it down the bridge of your nose, the highlight of your cheeks, and you're good to go. It's going to add a beautiful glow to your already beautiful skin. Moving on to brows. Now I recommend a good brow pencil because brow pencils are easy, quick, and on the go. Rather than when you do like powder or gel, you have everything in one. I definitely recommend a brow pencil that has a spoolie on the end so you can just brush your brows out and go. Um, because some brow pencils don't come with that and then you have to get a separate tool to do so. I would die if I did not have a spoolie. I could not do my brows. It would be completely impossible. So I recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow definer. Now I remember saying that I wasn't sure about this, how I liked it. Psh, take everything I said out the window. Literally the best brow pencil I've ever used in my life. I'm not kidding. I fill in my brows so fast it took, takes me a minute to two minutes, or it used to take me five. Bomb.com, it does it for you. So I definitely recommend a good brow pencil. Um, NYX has one that's similar to the Brow Wiz by Anastasia as well, so I definitely recommend that. Next, I recommend an eyeliner if you're going for eyeliner. Um, it's not completely necessary. I tend to not wear eyeliner on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you were going for eyeliner, I recommend the Kat Von D liquid liner it's pretty much rubbed off but this is what the applicator looks like bomb.com good liner is always good in a makeup kit it defines your eyes and you know you know what a liner does boom done with that the next thing I think is completely important is a good eyeshadow and I was trying to pick just one eyeshadow to show you but I figured why show you one $15 eyeshadow from Mac when I can show you a $20 palette from Morphe and it's the Morphe 350 palette. Morphe eyeshadows are completely comparable to MAC. The only difference is that these eyeshadows do have a little fallout. But if you look at them, look how beautiful. Let's just swatch this one right here. It goes on so, it glides on. Look at that. Look at the pigment. Literally bomb.com. I'll show you another one, a glittery eyeshadow. I did use this in a tutorial. I went one and used this eyeshadow. First, look how much it came out. I barely run my finger in that. And I'm just going to take it across all these swatches here. Look. Oh my goodness. $20 for 30 eyeshadows. You cannot be. And literally in this palette, you have every color you could even imagine. You have your brow highlight. You have your crease colors. You have your smoky colors. You have your lid colors. Everything you could even ever want is in this palette. So... Yes, I think eyeshadow is necessary. Do you need 35? No, you don't. But for the price of one eyeshadow you can get at MAC, you can get 35, okay? So I definitely recommend a good eyeshadow palette. I recommend a mascara, of course. Every woman I know not leave the house with that mascara on. So just going to recommend my favorite, the MAC Extended Play Mascara. Now, I do have smaller eyes, so this is great for me to get in there. Even though this mascara is kind of pricey, I think it's like 20 bucks, you can go to the drugstore and get so many different ones. And this applicator, the reason I like it so much is because it's small. Look how small that is. I haven't found anything in the drugstore like it. But if you do have more full eyelashes, there's so many different applicators in the drugstore that make your lashes nice and voluminous. Not least, finally we've reached the end. I definitely recommend a good lipstick that you can wear out, you can wear to work, you can wear to lunch. Anywhere, I definitely recommend a lipstick. Not a lip gloss, a lipstick. I'm a lipstick girl, and I think lipstick, I mean, back in the day, people used to, didn't used to work, walk out the house without lipstick, so that's how I am today. And my favorite lipstick is MAC Viva Glam 3. Can we just talk, take a minute? Like, look at this color. There's seriously nothing like it. It is a matte lipstick, but it's not drying. It's very hydrating. It's not a liquid lipstick, so you're not going to worry about all that dryness and flaking off. Here's the color of it, and it is just beautiful. So it's like a dark pinky mauve mixed with a little brown, and it's perfect. I can wear this to work, and I'll wear this out, and I just love the way it looks. And on you darker skin girls, it is going to show up a smidge lighter, but it, I promise you, it's not going to be too pasty like those pasty nudes. 
it's one of those colors that will work literally on everybody and I definitely recommend this so I recommended 11 products and that's really pretty much all you need in your makeup kit of course I have a lot more because I'm really into priming and whatnot but for the essentials you need a foundation a concealer a setting powder a bronzer a blush a good eyeliner some eyeshadows mascara and of course your highlights but yes so I hope it was helpful let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about recommendations for products or whatnot. These are just my favorite. No, you don't have to go spend all the money that I have here. Drugstore has pretty much everything. NYX is a great um, makeup company, so I definitely recommend looking at those if you're going for the cheaper route. Thumbs up if you liked the video, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.